Hello and OMG, welcome back to my channel where today I have such a fun video because I'm going to be reviewing liquid lipsticks that I found at the 99 cent store. So I wanna see if these are dupes for maybe like Kylie Cosmetics or what is another good liquid lipstick brand out there? Too Faced has a good liquid lipstick that is a plumper. Jaclyn Hill has liquid lipsticks. There's a lot of liquid lipsticks out there. So I wanna see if these ones are up to game with the other brands. So if you wanna see how they perform, then go ahead and keep on watching. So it has been a hot minute since I have done a like lipstick review here on my channel because I've been doing a lot of like fall videos and whatnot. So I was at the 99 sensor when I was shopping for fall decor and I stumbled upon the makeup section and found that Ioni, the brand Ioni, which is spelled I-O-N-I, -I, they are notorious for having such bomb, beautiful lashes that you could find at the 99 cent store. I have reviewed them here on my channel, so I'll go ahead and link those videos down below for you. So if you wanna go ahead and see what they're all about, then click those links. I saw that my girl has now liquid lipsticks and they come in the cutest packaging. I'm gonna show you, I picked up two Two dark colors right here. One is in the color Congo, one is in the color Choco Stars Crisp. This is what they look like. So these are very much like fall vibes, fall colors. I thought that these would be perfect for the upcoming seasons, for the holidays. And then I found these two lighter colors in the color Batang and in the color Bubble Melon Stripe. So the packaging is super cute. It's just basic, you know, paper packaging. These are the lighter pink colors. They didn't have any nudes. These these colors were pretty much the only colors I saw that they had. And I was like, oh my God, like we need to review these to see how they perform. So um, I was debating using lip liners because I want to get like a true review of just the liquid lipsticks. So I want to go ahead and just review the liquid lipsticks today. And then that way you guys can decipher if you want to go ahead and add a lip liner with the combination or not. But we're just going to review them based on how they are. So let's go ahead and get on into it. First one I will review is this one in the color Batang. It is spelled B-A-T-A-N-G. Now this is supposed to be a mauve long lasting formula matte finish liquid lipstick that is supposed to have ultra comfortable wear. There are directions on the back of the packaging and it says how to apply sweep color across lips and allow three to five minutes to completely dry. Ioni Cosmetics does have a website. They have www.ionicosmetics.com. They have a TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and a Twitter. And it shows that you could hashtag on the back Ioni Lashes and Ioni Cosmetics. I don't know if you can buy these online, but go ahead and go and check your 99 cent store and your dollar general depending on where you are located in the U.S. Um, and see if they have these. So let's go ahead and get on into the review. So let's go ahead and take her out and we will see what she is all about. You know what? I think I am going to use lip liners. This is literally my little bucket of lip of lip liners. It's a lot of like flying particles in there. Okay, so it comes in one of these plastic components. So the packaging is very cheap. It's pretty much like a one-time packaging, meaning once you take it out, you toss it. Sometimes packaging is where like you could save it. For example, I really love the Too Faced packaging for their liquid lipsticks. I feel like it's a little bit more of a durable uh, paper cardboard, but this is kind of like really cheap. So we're just gonna toss that to the side. Oh, by the way, it looks like this color was a part of the Electric Jungle collection. I do notice that Ioni, will come out with like a collection of stuff like and it's like the theme of it right so I remember I reviewed some lashes and the lashes were like a fruit theme and the this one looks like it was like a jungle theme so let's go ahead and oh I don't like how this already has like lipstick all over the component to me that just looks messy it just smells like a typical liquid lipstick so I want to go ahead and take a color to pair this with. We're going to go ahead and use, let's see, that might be too light. That was the color Frenchie from Morphe. Let's keep looking. Let's keep dabbling in here. No, we might just have to end up using that color. You guys, my power just went out. So the power went out in my house. And if you are in Southern California, we are going through like thunderstorms right now. And what they're doing is 
<sighs> sometimes there are rolling blackouts. Thank God this one did not last for too long. It was maybe like an hour or so. Um, and my phone wasn't charged. So I literally went, put on some clothes, uh, went into my car and sat there until my phone charged. But now we're back to finish this video. I was literally about to start it. So let's go ahead and get back on into it. Okay. So actually I am going to apply some lip liner just because I want to show you all what these liquid lipsticks will look like with um, lip liner. Okay, so we're going to apply the color Frenchy from Morphe. What I'm going to do is line basically the left side of my lip and then we will do the right side with just liquid lipstick. Okay, so we have Frenchy. So now we're gonna go ahead and add this lipstick onto here. Let's start off on the left side. Ooh, that is a Barbie pink lipstick. Okay, so what I'm seeing right off the bat is that this is the type of liquid lipstick where it's almost like sheer. If you use just one coat, you could sheer it out or you can basically put a lot more product on the Dofa applicator and you can get a more pigmented, very Barbie pink look. So this is what it looks like with lip liner on the left side of my lips and on the right side is just basically um, it by itself. Oh my God. So I'm doing this because you guys look at my lips. Watch. Oh my God. Why are you doing that? Look. Oh my God. That can't, that cannot be good. <gasps> you guys, the product is coming off. I dropped my camera, so I don't know if the resolution is gonna look bad or good, but you guys, it's literally coming off. As you can see. Oh my God. It just hurts. My lips are sticking together. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Why is it doing this? Oh my God, I don't even know what the ingredients are. It's Tritacel. Tremelitolite, it's just, it's too much, but this, this can't be good. Oh my God, why are my lips like literally sticking to each other like that? Okay, let's do another coat. Let's see what's going on here. It's literally not sticking. Oh my God. This tells me that this is a shitty ass product. Oh my God. Okay. At face value, it looks really pretty. It looks like a beautiful Barbie color, but you guys, I know this is to wait three to five minutes to dry, but there is no reason why my lips should be sticking to each other like this. Let's let it dry for a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna try to just like not have my lips touch while I talk so I can just like talk through while um, we're letting this dry just for a little bit. Um, you know, these lip glosses or these liquid lipsticks I found at the 99 cent store. So clearly they're not expensive. They were only like, I wanna say these were probably either 99 cents or $1.29, but Ioni Cosmetics has such good eyelashes that I had such high hopes for this liquid lipstick, but so far you guys, mm. It's doing it again. Look. Like I should be able to go without my lips. Literally sticking. Oh my God. There is something wrong. No, no. This is like, no, this is imme immediately. No, it's not sticking. It's coming off. It literally feels like glue. It literally 
yeah, it literally feels like glue. So for the rest of this review, we are not going to use lip liner because I'm not going to waste my lip liner. This is already showing that it is such a terrible product, you guys. Oh my God. Okay, let's take it off. Oh my God. What is this? Why does it say comfortable? This is the most uncomfortable thing I've ever put on my lips. Holy cow. What is this? Oh my God. It's like hard to take off too. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, it hurts. Oh my God. Oh my God. Maybe it's expired. <gasps> you guys, it's like not coming on. It's like paint. <gasps> oh my God. This cannot be good. This cannot be good at all. <gasps> oh my God. Okay. No. Immediately no. Oh my God. Jeez. I'm gonna have to like fix this. Okay, so taking that off was an absolute nightmare. <sighs> I think this has the exact same ingredients as the other one. This is in the color Bubble Melon Stripes. We're going to try this one. So let's go ahead and let's just put it on and see what happens. I can't really smell right now because my sinuses are out of control. But let's try it. Okay, see what I mean? How like you can make it sheer? Like you could put like the lightest coat and it goes on so sheer. And then you could add more and get more pigment. So aside from the first experience, let me talk about the color of this one. I really do love these colors for the fall. I think like they pair really nicely with like a brown smoky eye like I did, a black smoky eye. Anytime you want like a lip pop of color and you don't wanna go on the red side, you wanna go something a little bit dramatic and bright, pink is always the way to go. I think it's so beautiful. It's such a standout color. Even if you were to do a light eye with this, but I think that for the seasons that are coming up, if you do holiday looks with a bright lip like this, it is absolutely beautiful. So I've been talking for a few seconds now. I'm getting it on my teeth. Write that off. Okay. Okay. It's it, okay. The first lipstick, my lips were sticking together like as if I had crazy glue on my freaking top and bottom lip. All right, this one's doing it. Yeah. This one's doing it. This one dried down quicker. And my lips weren't sticking together at first, but right now they are like, yeah, it's, it hurts. Why is it doing that? And like the color is fading, which tells me that these are terrible, terrible, terrible lipsticks. Okay. Let's try the next color. Let's try Choco Stars Crisp. Something is wrong with this formula. Ioni girl, like you need to revisit this because this is atrocious. You have potential. You have a lot of potential because these colors are so beautiful. The quality girl, like what is in here? Is there like Elmer, Elmer's glue, like super glue? Like, look, it hurts to take off. Like, what is this shit? Like, I get it if you want long wear, but you cannot label your stuff as comfortable and long lasting if this is the most uncomfortable thing I've ever put on my lips. If you guys have purchased these liquid lipsticks from your 99 cent store or Dollar General or, or Dollar Tree, wherever you're able to find them, let me know if you had the same experience because I am literally roughing it right now. Oh my God, you guys. 
This is supposed to come off so easy. Even if it's a matte lipstick, it's not supposed to do this where it literally stays on and you have to use a nail to scrape it. Like I'm literally using my nail up against my makeup wipe to take this off. This is not cool. All right, so the the so the one that I just tried in the color Bubble Melon Stripes, I'm about to try Choco Stars Crisp. This is a part of the Ioni Sweets collection, almost like they're mimicking M&Ms. But the only thing we are mimicking here is freaking super glue. Yeah, I dropped my camera pretty freaking bad. So are we focusing? There we go. Okay, let's try this. I can't smell. I'm so congested. That's a pretty color. I guess it's definitely not as pigmented. It's a little bit more sheer. Uh oh, went too low. Okay, let's judge this by the color first. So this color is absolutely beautiful. This is the perfect like fall Christmas time in between red mauve pink. This would look absolutely stunning with like a deep brown lip liner. Like this color is so on point. I really, really like it. Putting this on though, um, it went on more sheer and then you have to really just keep piling it up to add color. Why are my lips stinging? They're kind of stinging on the outside, but not like a lip plumper. Now, as I'm talking, I feel my lips starting to stick to each other like Elmer's glue again, like, like literally sticking. Okay, so it's not as bad yet. I kind of did a really crappy job putting this on, but as I rub my lips together, the lipstick is kind of coming off, as you can see. It's like shearing itself out. Okay, this one's not as bad. We're sticking, but we're definitely not like super glue type, like the first couple of ones were. So um, I still would not recommend any of these three so far, but I absolutely love this color. Ioni, we need you to reformulate, girl, because this is just crazy. Um, let's put on the last one. Okay, this one can't, is coming off easier. So something about this color, Maybe because it's like less pigmented and it's like more of like a sheer red that it's easier to come off. But those first two, holy cow, especially the first one, like what is going on here? I'm so disappointed, you guys. I really thought I was going to have like some Carly Cosmetics dupes for you guys, some Jaclyn Hill liquid lipstick dupes for you guys, some Too Faced liquid lipstick dupes for you all. But this is more of like a video of stay the F away from 99 Chun Short liquid lipsticks. Okay, last one. It looks like this one was from the Electric Jungle Collection as well as the first one. And this is in the color Congo. I love the theme. Like I love the theme. I love the packaging. It's super creative. It's super cute. I love that Ioni sticks to her theme. But girl, friend, like you girl, no, just immediately no. All right, here we go. Oh, we still have some. And guys, I sound really sick. I'm not, I'm just super congested. Okay, this is definitely more of a red. This is definitely like Christmas time red. I love this color. This is so pretty. This is in the color Congo. 
This is such a beautiful, like I'm telling you a beautiful red for definitely Christmas time. Like if you were to pair this with like a deep red lip liner, a brown lip liner, um, like a caramel lip liner, this would give you like the perfect ombre pouty holiday lip. Like this is so beautiful for those of you who are afraid of like very bright red lipsticks, but don't want to go too deep as well because you don't want to look like gothic in a way. This is absolutely stunning, but... This one, yeah, like the, the color isn't staying as I spread my lips out. It's shearing itself out again. Yeah, it's doing that really sticky thing. Like watch where my lips want to stick together. I'm not doing that on purpose. I'm trying to separate them. So watch. I'd like they want to stick together. <sighs> Something in this formula is just not it. And hold on who texted me no one texted me a coupon code okay um liquid li let me get on my thoughts liquid lipsticks are very drying right so this is very drying they're all very drying but they stick my lips stick together like crazy glue that's not normal a liquid lipstick is supposed to feel dry you could add chapstick prior to application or post application, but I wouldn't even recommend that with these. I don't think there's any chapstick or lip gloss in the world that could save the formula of these liquid lipsticks. Like, it's just not comfortable. It's just, it's not comfortable. And the only one that I could say is probably like the best one to get, but not really, is gonna be this one. It's gonna be Congo. Um, only because it's drying down just a little bit different. It's not shearing on as much and my lips aren't sticking together as harsh as the other three. However, even though these are only like less than $2, that's still money, right? Like that's still your hard earned money. And if you're going to put your money into somebody's product, um, I feel like no matter the price, sometimes they say you get what you pay for, but I feel like Ioni has such a good reputation. In fact, when my power went out and I was sitting in my car, I was on Instagram and a reels came up of this girl who found a ton of Ioni lashes at Burlington. I think she even said like their brow, um, oh, what is it? The brow gel was one of the best brow gels they have ever tried. These liquid lipsticks are absolute trash. Like, and I'm not trying to be critical. I'm not trying to be mean. I love Ioni Cosmetics. I have harped on here, raved about them, about how good they are. I literally see my Ioni Cosmetics lashes um, in my little lash trays. Even though I have lash extensions right now, I, I literally can recommend to you guys. I could swear by Ioni lashes. They are like one of the best, most affordable lashes out there. But these liquid lipsticks go down as absolute trash. Like, as it's dried down, it's definitely not sticking as bad, but my lips are still sticking to each other and it does not feel comfortable. In fact, it feels weird. It, it just, it feels weird. It feels uncomfortable. This is not it, sis. So even though these are cruelty-free, the packaging says cruelty-free, even though these little lipsticks are cruelty-free, they're super affordable and the colors are absolutely beautiful, you guys. Like even though the colors are absolute, sorry, I'm kicking my camera. Even though these colors are absolutely beautiful, like I love these colors. These are like perfect mauve, red tone. These are perfect for the holidays, but I can't recommend these to you guys. And you, you all know that I will only recommend you really good affordable products, but I cannot recommend these to you at all. Um, I love Ioni Cosmetics, but I'm going to be throwing these away. These have no business being in my makeup collection because they serve me absolutely no purpose. Um, they're uncomfortable. Uh, they're not going to be long lasting as they claim to be. And I really, really hope Ioni reformulates because whatever ingredient is in here that is making my lips stick together and is making the liquid lipstick sheer out is not okay. So with that being said, that brings us to the verdict of my video. Clearly these are not guilty of being worthy of your dollars. Like save your money, go buy, you know, a more expensive liquid lipstick or go buy something at Ulta or Walmart, a different brand that you love and trust because these are just not it. The packaging was so adorable. Again, the colors I absolutely love. Um, I love how much product you get in these, but it, the payoff is just not it. So I hope that you all found this video very informative. Please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, click that bell and 
I'm so thrown off. I can't even do my outro. <laughs> Click that bell so you get notified of every time that I do upload a video. I know this video was crazy, but um, please remember to always spread peace, love, and happiness because you never know what somebody is going through behind the scenes. Um, I'm here to give you an honest review though, so I'm not trashing Ioni. I'm not trashing um, the person who is in charge of the brand. I just cannot stand the formula because I love Ioni cosmetics, but I don't love these liquid lipsticks. So anyways, I hope that this was informative again, and I will see you all in my next video.